I got in the business in about 1977. Uh, General Mills wanted to start a vending division called Delamatic Refreshment Services. Spent a year in Atlanta as a sales rep. Went to Chicago, went to Houston, opened a branch, uh, and then got transferred back to Atlanta uh, to take to run all four branches of Delamatic Refreshment Services. We had another branch in LA. At that point, uh, General Mills decided they didn't want to continue to expand the business. Met a gentleman named Alan Plasted that ran the Atlanta branch. We decided to try it on our own. We started with one Coke machine, uh, placed another Coke and another snack. Uh, still have the second account we, we got back in 1981. Uh, we started servicing our first accounts out of station wagons. And uh, then we bought uh, one truck, an old used truck, for uh, about $3,400. Uh, continued to expand the business and fast forward it. Here we are today. We do about, uh, in the Atlanta branch, we'll do about $29 million this year. The biggest change I've seen in the industry is, is technology. You know, when I got started, I, I did it all, whether installing or, or, or programming, but uh, it's, it's gone beyond me now. But it's, with all that data knowledge that we have now, the efficiencies in the business have gotten so much greater. Um, if you're not following the technology and not updating your uh, business, you're going to be left behind. Start to invest back in your business and invest in technology. It'll help you become profitable and it'll help you grow. If I had to do it all over again, if you don't know where you're at, you don't know where you're going, and the only way you can do that is by having a good financial footing, a, a good P&L, and a good budget, uh, plan budget to measure yourself against. For about 15 years, we did uh, no budgeting and just did basically a P&L uh, once a year for the, uh, or once a quarter. And uh, we were able to survive, but I think it cost us, a, I know it cost us a lot of money but I would start with, with a, a, a good annual budget that I could measure myself against, and I would start with good financial reporting. Without those two things, it's like driving a ship in the ocean without a rudder. It, uh, we were very fortunate to make it. Uh, we had some tough times, which everybody does, but we, we stayed the course. Somebody asked me one time, what's the best advice you've ever gotten from somebody? Uh, there's basically two things. Uh, one is, is, you, is your words, your bond. Uh, if you say you're going to do something, you do it, uh, even if it becomes unpleasant. Uh, but if you commit to doing something, you do it. Uh, and the other thing is um, be a leader, not a boss. Anybody can be a boss, but if you're a leader, uh, everything will follow, everything will happen as, as you want it to. It will be a great atmosphere to work in. I say I don't work for anybody, I work with. 100 and eight employees I have here at Southern. They don't work for me, we work together to accomplish one thing. Alan Placed's son, Scott Placed, worked with me. Uh, and uh, my son, Chris, has been here four years, and Scott's been here 11. Uh, I get great pleasure out of watching these two boys grow, watching them learn, uh, watching their management styles mature. It's interesting to see them come in headstrong and then realize that uh, all their ideas and thoughts can't be implemented immediately. Uh, they learn how to manage people. They learn how to, to lead people. Uh, I've told them both that it's, it's not an easy business. It's a 24-7 service business. Uh, you're, I describe this business as you're running a grocery store with no walls. Four or five years down the road, I think the industry is going to make some changes. I don't think it'll be any, anything it's earth shattering, but we will continue to advance in our technology, which we need to do. The healthy program will still be a part of the industry because people have become more aware or conscious of, uh, of uh, making a healthy choice. Uh, I see the payment methods continuing to change in advance, but we'll, we'll continue to progress. I think the, the vending machines will become more advanced instead of just being a cabinet. In the break room, there'll be uh, a point of sale that will attract people to the machines. Our offerings will be greater. Uh, 
and hopefully we'll progress and, and catch up with the rest of the world technology-wise. I think it's a great business. Uh, it's a 24-7 business. Uh, you've got a very capital intense, employee intense business, but it's a great business to be in. It's been a lot of fun, been a lot of work. Uh, would I change anything? It, yeah, but you know, you could always look back and say you'll change stuff, but I'd, I'd still do the same thing again.